Hey guys, Tony here, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install the Laravel 4 framework using the Composer Dependency Manager. I'm by no means a Composer expert. In fact, I'm actually kind of a newbie, but I just thought I'd create a quick video since I found some of the other instructions on installing Laravel 4 missing a couple pieces, just a few things that uh, I had trouble with. But uh, I'm just going to do a quick video and show you step-by-step uh, -step how to install it. So. I'm inside of my sites directory right now inside of terminal and I'm going to create a new directory and just call that Laravel 4. And I'm just going to cd into that directory. And the next step we'll want to do is go to getcomposer.org. We'll want to click on the download button and there's a one line command that we can use to copy and paste into terminal to install Composer. So after that's been installed, I can go ahead and look into the directory and you can see we have a composer.phar file in there and that we have just installed the get composer into this directory. Next we'll want to go is to 4.laravel.com. We'll want to click on install Laravel and we can click on download the latest version here and I believe it's still in development, but the production version should be available soon next week. So what I'm going to do is extract that and then copy all of the files into my sites and Laravel 4 directory. So after I've done that, I can list out all the files and you'll see that we have them inside of that directory. Back here on 4.laravel.com, there is a line php composer.var install that we'll want to run after we've added all the files to the directory. So it may take a few moments just to install all the dependencies and all the packages into this folder, but what I'm going to do in the meantime is open up MAMP and I'm going to create a Laravel 4 virtual host. You can see that I have one there, but I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to add it again. So I'm going to call this virtual host Laravel 4. And this is just so that way I can point to my public folder. So inside of Laravel 4, we'll click on the public directory. We'll choose that and then we'll just give this an alias of Laravel 4. So I'm just going to stop my servers and then start it up again. Alright, and you'll see in terminal we have downloaded the Laravel framework along with a couple other packages. So I'm going to go into a new window and I'm going to type in laravel 4.dev we'll probably need the HTTP in there and if I run this directory we should be seeing a hello world and that will let us know that the laravel 4 framework has been installed and there we go it's actually that easy to install the laravel 4 framework I'm pretty excited about learning more about composer and how it can work well with other third-party plugins APIs or other code that has been turned into a package that we can use then in our Laravel 4 projects. So I hope to create a couple more videos whenever I learn more about Composer, and I also hope to create some more videos about Laravel 4 once I start diving into that.